हेलो बच्चों कैसे हैं आप स्वागत है आपका मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल बायोलॉजी इन माई पॉकेट्स में जैसा आप सभी जानते हैं कि हमने डिस्कस कर रखा है पहले ही गोल की बॉडीज बहुत सारे सेल ऑर्गेन रिलीज पढ़ लिए सो so, आज हम स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं हमारा नया टॉपिक जो टॉपिक है लाइजोजोम्स ओके सो लेट एस रिकॉल एंड स्टडी वॉट इज लाइजोजोम्स सो एज यू कैन सी द डाइग्राम ऑफ अ बेल्जियम साइटोलॉजिस्ट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ साइटोलॉजिस्ट साइटोलॉजिस्ट मीन्स दो वर्क इन द साइटोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू द सेल मैटर ओके सो ही डिस्कवर्ड दिस एज इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन नंबर ऑन द नाउ इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कट द वर्ड एंड वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड तो वी विल वॉट वी विल डू वी विल टेक द पार्ट वन बाई वन जस्ट लाइक लाइजोजोम लाइजोजोम वॉज डिस्कवर्ड एंड द मीनिंग इज इन द ग्रीक सेंस ओके सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइसिस फर्स्ट लाइसिस मीन्स द डिस्ट्रक्शन something is going to be disturbed okay and soma soma means body we know that soma is related with the body okay so this is about the small introduction about lysosomes as we move to the functions and their structures we'll see one by one what happen okay so first is the lysosomes lysosomes are the kind of waste disposal system of your the cell iska matlab ye hai ki for example what happen inside your home everything is managed well so far as are there fans are there everything okay so you need to put the waste so where you will put it is very simple you will put in the dustbin so it is acting like that thing only in which disposal system of the body is there it will collect the waste materials okay so it occurs in the animals yes it is present in the animal cells also फॉरन मटीरियल एंटरिंग द सेल्स फॉरन मटीरियल इन सेंस हम क्या बोल सकते हैं जस्ट लाइक बैक्टीरियाल्टिव पार्ट जो एंट्री ले रहे हैं ठीक है बैक्टीरिया फूड एज वेल एज द ओल्ड ऑर्गेन रिलीज एंड अप इन टू द स्मॉल पीसेस दे विल कट इन टू द स्मॉल पीसेस ओके डिस्ट्रक्ट डिस्ट्रक्शन मीन्स वॉट सेल का कोई भी पार्ट डिस्ट्रक्ट हो रहा है सिंपल नेक्स्ट क्या है दिस इज बिकॉज दे कंटेन वाई दीज थिंग्स हैपन very simple that is because of the digestive enzymes okay digestive enzyme always help in breaking these molecules into the smaller one okay so these things are done by the powerful digestive enzymes which are capable of breaking breaking the organic material okay what is organic organic means which can be degraded easily okay so this is all about the lysosomes moving to the next slide we will continue with the same one So just like moreover they remove all the debris cell debris means what is cell debris it is a part of the small parts of the cells okay so that they also known as a cellular housekeeper that is why they are known as a caretaker of the cell also cell housekeeper and you will say that scavengers basically scavengers are those who will eat the dead and decaying remaining of an animals okay so next take here simple sa hai ye next when the cells get damaged if the cell get damaged easily sometimes okay so lysosome may burst they will start bursting and after that the enzyme digests their own cell so that it keeps the cell neat and clean so that is why they are also known as the suicidal bags this question can be asked in the exam okay so you have to deal very softly with that this is the answer of the question and they are also known as a suicidal sac also sac is a space okay so this is about the suicidal bag that is known as lysosome now let us discuss the diagram of the lysosomes as you can see in the diagram it is covering it is having the cover of membrane so that is a covering membrane and inside this you can see that it is having the protein and enzyme so inside the structure it is filled it is having enzymes which are filled and embedded inside the membrane okay so th this is the structure of the lysosome as we can see that lysosomes is having protein and enzyme and they are having the powerful enzymes okay so let us see and understand point by point so this is the whole structure okay structurally lysosomes are the membrane bound structure means they are present inside the membrane okay membrane bound means they will cover and made up of the membrane with the digestive enzyme and they are also having the digestive enzyme the two thing you have to remember first is they are having the membrane like structure and they are having digestive enzymes okay next some dekhte hain so these enzymes are produced by the रफ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सो दैट इज प्रोड्यूस बाय द आरईआर आपको मैंने उस दिन भी बताया था ये सारी चीजें व्हाट इज एसईआर आरईआर ठीक है 
एस सी आर और आर आर को अगर आपको नहीं पता है तो आप प्रीवियस वीडियो आप देख सकते हैं ठीक है सो द इम्पॉर्टेंट एनजाइम्स नाउ वी कैन क्लासीफाई द एनजाइम्स दैट कैन बी हेल्पफुल टू यू टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ एक्चुअली इट वर्क सो वन बाई वन वी विल टेक द एनजाइम जस्ट लाइक द इम्पॉर्टेंट एनजाइम इंक्लूड लिपिड्स प्रोटीएसिस दैट डाइजेस्ट प्रोटीन इट इज रिलेटेड विद द डाइजेशन ऑफ द प्रोटीन ओके नेक्स्ट न्यूक्लियस दैट डाइजेस्ट न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स then carbohydrates that digest the carbohydrates and the last one is the phosphorus phosphorase that digest phosphoric acids okay this is related about the structure once if in the exam it is asking you can write down the structures also okay so now we can move to the function of the lysosomes okay all the organelles i have told you earlier also ki they are very helpful and they have some specific function so let us now go through the function it helps to keep the cell neat and clean by digesting any foreign particles as well as a warm out cell organelle warm out means which are now in the small pieces okay so that can be digested easily so it will keep your cells clean next it also helps to digest foreign bacteria bacteria which are invade invade means which are coming from outside next it serve as a intra intracellular digestive system and hence it is called as a digestive bag because it can digest all the matter smoothly it is known as a digestive bags so this is about the functions of the lysosomes first is it helps in cleaning second it digests the foreign bacteria materials which are invading from outside and third is it is also known as a digestive bags so this is related about the function of lysosomes so let us move to the next organelle which is very very important and that is a mitochondria as you can see in the screen mitochondria and its part mitochondria is very very important because it is known as a powerhouse of the cell so let us discuss about why it is known as a powerhouse of the cell so as you can see that they are present inside the cell and their location and they are just like rod like sheet okay so that is a first now we'll study one by one all the parts first we will discuss about the discovery okay so mitochondria see mitochondria is a group of mitochondria but once you will say singular that is you have to use mitochondrion okay single one for mitochondria so it was discovered by the colicker who tested the muscle cell of insect okay so it It, it it was discovered in the insect we can say insect muscle cell okay the present name of mitochondria was given by carl benda so it was uh, we are knowing by the name mitochondria only so it was given by carl benda so two thing that is related to the discovery now we can move to the parts of the mitochondria okay so there are membrane bound organelles first is the these are the membrane bound organelles they are also having membrane it means that unko membrane hai bahar aur inner side mein okay next they are usually rod shape abhi humne dekha ki it is a rod shape structure mitochondria is known as a powerhouse of the cell simple powerhouse of the cell why it is called as a power of powerhouse of the cell because the energy required for various chemical metabolic activity just needed for body which will do which will like uh, activities mechanical activities cell cellular activities it is given by mitochondria in the form of atp adenosine triphosphate okay so that is why atp is also known as a energy currency एनर्जी करेंसी भी बोला जाता है सेल्स की बिकॉज वो पावर प्रोवाइड कर रही है देन ओनली द सेल विल डू वाइटल एक्टिविटीज फंक्शन कर सकते हैं ओके सो यू हैव टू कीप दिस इन द माइंड नेक्स्ट द बॉडी यूजेस एनर्जी स्टोर इन एटीपी नाउ बॉडी इज डायरेक्टली नॉट यूजिंग द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया बट इट इज यूजिंग द स्टोर एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपी ओके विच मेक्स द केमिकल कंपाउंड एंड helps in mechanical work of the cell mechanical is related to the cell which is going to transfer some of the molecules from one side to another or it is doing some important processes synthesis also so that it can be helped by mitochondria okay so now you can see the structure that is very important to understand the structure one by one we will deal with the structure so first we will go with the outer membrane so you can see that the 
this one is the outer membrane because they are present in the outer lining and inside this there are four like structure which is having the yellow that is the inner membrane okay two membranes are there then we will go inside this there are the spaces between the membrane and that spaces is known as an inter membrane space okay the space between outer and inner is known as a inter membrane space after that we will go in the folds you can see all the blue color that is a folds okay so that is filled with a fluid like jelly like substance that is known as a matrix okay so that one is a matrix next you will see the fold which is going in a brown color you will see that zigzag form and that is known as a crista they are actually the folds okay so they are the fold inside the matrix you will also see the small ribosomes which are green in the structure and inside this there are the structures which are a round shaped structure semi circular shape that is a granules okay so you have to keep this in your mind and then you will see that mitochondria is also having its own dna deoxyribonucleic acid and some of the atp synthesis particles are there which will help in the production of atps okay so this you have to keep in mind first is the inner membrane second is the outer one then there is a matrix inter membrane space okay then fold that is a crista then small dot like structure that is a ribosome and a semi circular shape that is a granules okay and it is having its own dna so this is related about the structure of the mitochondria now we'll focus and we'll study one by one all the parts of the mitochondria okay so aapko pata hai ki mitochondria ko maine abhi just bataya ki it is enclosed in the double membrane structure okay so un double membrane envelopes bhi bol sakte hain that is known as the outer membrane and inner membrane okay so kya hai inner and outer membrane next aap dekhenge to isme pata hai jo outer membrane hai it restrict restrict ka matlab hai ye rokti hai theek hai so it restrict the ऑर्गेनल वाइल इनर मेम्बरी इज थ्रोन इनवर्ड इन मेनी फोल्ड आउटर मेम्बरी है वो ब्लॉक कर रही है बट जो इनर मेम्बरी है इट इज हैविंग द फोल्ड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर बहुत सारे इसमें छोटे छोटे फोल्ड दिखेंगे ठीक है and these are just like small projections which is known as a crista. मैंने अभी आपको बताया था क्रिस्टे बोलते हैं उसे many fold like structures को The two membrane are separated by और जो दो membrane है वो separate किस चीज से हो रही है That is by the pre mitochondrial space और inter membrane space आप दोनों में से कुछ भी बोल सकते हैं ये चीज ठीक है So inner side of membrane there is a dense jelly like substance मैंने अभी आपको बताया जब आप inner side देखेंगे तो you will see the jelly like substance okay और jelly like substance को ही बोला गया है matrix that is a matrix jelly like substance that is matrix okay The matrix consists of matrix के अंदर क्या क्या है वो हम देखते हैं तो पहले आपको याद रखना बच्चों की इसमें खुद का डीएनए होता है नंबर वन ठीक है राइबोजोम्स मिलेंगे आपको राउंड शेप स्ट्रक्चर एंड आर एबल टू सिंथेसाइज सम ऑफ देयर प्रोटीन जो भी प्रोटीन उनको इंपॉर्टेंट है जरूरत है वो उसे इजिली सिंथेसाइज कर सकते हैं ठीक है सो so, इसमें से आपको क्या क्या याद रखना है आपको फोल्ड याद रखना है इनर मेम्बरी आउटर मेम्बरी क्रिस्टा आपको याद रखना है देन आपको प्री माइक्रोकॉन्ट्रेल स्पेस याद रखनी है matrix fluid structure that is a fluid jelly like structure or after that dna then ribosomes jo kya kar rahe hain kuch synthesis kar rahe hain apne khud ke proteins ko okay that is related with the mitochondria next yahan pe thodi si cheeze dhyan rakhne wali hai isliye maine note karke likha hai ki mitochondria are also found in eukaryotic theek hai it is also found in the eukaryotic cell but Not in a prokaryotic cell. ये आपको ध्यान रखना है ठीक है कि इट इज फाउंड इन द यू कैरियोटिक सेल बट नॉट इन द प्रो कैरियोटिक सेल एंड रेड ब्लड सेल्स ऑफ मैमल्स मैमल्स के भी रेड ब्लड सेल्स में ये नहीं मिलता है मोस्ट ऑफ ठीक है माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया डेवलप बाई द बाइनरी फिशन ये थोड़ा सा आपको एक्स्ट्रा बता दिया गया ठीक है कि ये कैसे डिवाइड होते हैं बाइनरी फिशन मीन्स बॉडी इज डिवाइडेड इन टू द टू इक्वल हाफ एंड देन इट विल डिटैच फ्रॉम इट सेल्फ एंड टू Uh, two mitochondria will be formed, and this is how mitochondria will be formed from one and another. Okay, so this is related. This is important to understand. Now let us move to the function. Function, ma'am, look, main main things ही पढ़ने वाले हैं कि why it is too much important. Okay, so first पढ़ेंगे हम. It is the site of the cellular respiration. जहाँ पे cell की activities होती हैं, exchange of the रेस्पिरेशन इज रिलेटेड विद एक्सचेंज ऑफ द गैस जो सेल को जो भी चीजें जरूरत है यहाँ पे होगा नंबर वन सेकेंड है माइटोकॉन्ट्रिया ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड एनर्जी इट इज बेसिक 
ठीक है इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपी डायरेक्ट अगर आपको एनर्जी कोई बोल रहा था इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एटीपी ओके द एटीपी एनर्जी इज यूज बाय द सेल और सेल उसको यूज कर लेते हैं एनर्जी को ब्रेक डाउन करके एंड बहुत सारी एक्टिविटीज आपको पता है सेल्स करता है तो उसमें वो यूज अप कर लेते हैं थर्ड है दैट इज एटीपी इज कॉल्ड एज अ मास्टर मॉलिक्यूल इसीलिए एटीपी को मास्टर मॉलिक्यूल बोला गया है ठीक है ऑफ द बिकॉज इट प्रोवाइड द एनर्जी फॉर वेरियस बायोकेमिकल प्रोसेस ठीक है जितने भी प्रोसेस बॉडी में होते हैं वो किसकी हेल्प से हो रहे हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया ओके दैट इज वाई इट इज नोन एज अ करेंसी ऑफ द सेल ओके एनर्जी करेंसी ऑफ द सेल एनर्जी प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं कंटिन्यूसली सो दैट इज नोन एज अ एनर्जी करेंसी ऑफ द सेल सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया Oh, 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 oh,